I am Dr. Sharjeel and uh, you are watching my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Now today I am presenting you this 10 years old female patient uh, who was brought by her parents to me with complaint of uh, blunt trauma to the eye with a slingshot stone was thrown with a slingshot uh, two days back. Uh, her vision is counting finger and you can see the central clouding of the cornea. Now whenever we had festivals, religious festivals or other traditional festivals, kids used to play with pellet guns, slingshots, arrows, rifles and they present in eye emergency with different varieties of ocular injuries and one of the common presentation is blunt trauma to the cornea with the, this central crowning on slit lamp I diagnosed her as a case of traumatic striate keratopathy now the striate keratopathy name is familiar to many of the viewers because uh, one of the most common cause of striate keratopathy is uh, cataract surgery post op cataract surgery we get very uh, mild moderate or severe striate keratopathy so iatrogenically but the second most common cause which i have seen practically is trauma now why trauma caused striate keratopathy well the direct uh, impact of the trauma uh, the blunt object the stone directly hit the cornea and stretch the corneal endothelium and there is a transient endothelial dysfunction and you know that corneal endothelial cells are crucial to the transparency of the cornea they continuously pump fluid out of the corneal stroma so transient damage caused aqueous entering into the cornea lot more then the pumping capacity of the viable endothelial cells and uh, that uh, caused fluid uh, influx uh, into the stroma decimate folds uh, and striate keratopathy so as it's a transient uh, injury with time the stride the fluid in the cornea the decimate folds uh, they all will clear uh, when the endothelium become fully functional in the meantime uh, we can give hi hypertonic uh, drops uh, to draw the fluid uh, from epithelium uh, steroids and antibiotics uh, for inflammation uh, and cycloplegic drops uh, can be given uh, to relieve the pain and you should also check uh, intraocular pressure if it is raised anti-glaucoma drops should be added as well and i'm hopeful that within two weeks uh, this cornea should clear so that was a case of traumatic striate keratopathy 